Hi guys! Yo, we is back. This it's is Vlogmas Day. <laughs> And Cindy, it's, it's Vlogmas like, Day. What I mean, Vlogmas nine. Day is it? It's Vlogmas Day 14. 14. Okay, guys, I am back in the game, feeling better. Thank you for your comments. Yes. Okay, guys, so we are doing a sweets and treats video today. We're going to make yes. some stuff for you Our guys. Holiday. <laughs> holiday edition. Sweets and treats. So we are at Dollar Tree. We headed in and get a couple things. Then we're going to hit up all and get a couple things. Then we're going to take y'all back to his house and we're going to make these things. Yes. Um, what was I about to say? I don't know, yeah. but I'm excited because we got some cute stuff in store. So let's head on in, guys. Did we say who he was? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's probably to meet that. Hey, y'all. We're back at Chris Eve. We um, are about to whip up some, some holiday sweets, sweets and, and treats. treats. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to show y'all what, what all we have and explain what each thing is. And then we're about to shift it up in here. I okay. didn't know what he was doing all that. But, okay. Yeah, well, we got to show them what they We got to show them, but we got to explain it. Okay. All right. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> okay, guys. So, here's everything. We're going to be doing a Christmas tree with spinach artichoke dip. We got some pizza crust. We're going to be doing some dipped... What is it? That, we're going to do Oreo ornament. Yes. We're going to do Santa strawberries. Yes. And we're going to make a cheese ball. Yes. So here's all of the things that we have. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess we'll try to tell you everything that we have as we go, but you'll be able to see as well. Yeah, and we'll, 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 and we'll, we'll also, link it down below. Yeah, we're going to link it down below. All mm -hmm. right, guys. Let's jump into this. Hey guys, so we kind of forgot to tell you, the first thing that we were making was the Christmas tree. You gotta take out all of your um, dough and stuff like that, and you're cutting it into triangles, which you're gonna see in the next clip. But since we forgot to tell you, we didn't even tell you what we were doing. But this is just us trying to figure everything out, unrolling the dough, cutting the pieces. You can see me taking certain pieces out and sending it to the side. You're cutting a triangle, and then you're laying the triangle pieces that are cut from the rectangle back onto the triangle, which you will see, like I said, in the next clip. Just if you guys were wondering what's going on, that's exactly what's happening. Okay, guys, keep on tuning in. Okay, guys, so the next step is after you cut your tree out, you're going to spread some. You can make your own, but we went ahead and bought it. It makes it the a easy, little bit easier. easier. You're going to just spread, spread it all there. over. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to add in uh, some parm cheese on the top, guys. And that's really it's real juicy. It is juicy. That's why I was saying we're going to need some parm cheese to kind of thicken it up. So if you do get the store-bought brand, uh, we got ours from Lowe's, and it is a little juicy. You don't want it too juicy. So we gonna try to thicken that up with some uh, Parmesan cheese. Okay, guys? Mm -hmm. I'm trying, y'all. I ain't no great cook. I can That's do a fine. little bit. That's perfect amount, too. You gotta food, do, yeah, Tamika cooks some good food. But I, I just like desserts. to bake. She's not, Tamika's not a super duper baker. No, not I even like close. baking, so. Not even a, a bit, y'all. That's perfect amount. I wouldn't do no more. Okay, yeah, I always perfect. got up at that tip. Yeah, got the tip done. Okay, so that's that, guys. And then we gonna sprinkle some Parm cheese. On top. Mm -hmm. It smells real good, it too. It smells delicious. And then we preheat the, pre the oven for 400 degrees. We're going to bake it. Really, you're looking for that buttery crust look, um, but we're going to bake it for anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. It's really going to depend on how it, um, what the crust it. looks like, making sure the crust is done. Yeah, go ahead and get them edges. <laughs> you sound real, near, real Listen, serious. Mm -hmm, get, I them, am. get them ear okay, edges. Okay, so once we do this, what we're going to do is take the remaining dough and lay it on top, and then we'll show you the next step, okay? Okay, so now we're going to put the dough back on top. Now, this dough is a little bit stretchy, y'all, so y'all might want to use Pillsbury pizza. This, yeah, because this is dough. This Milwaukee is a little stretchy for us. Because we couldn't find so, no Pillsbury. Yeah, we couldn't find no Pillsbury People pizza crust. People is apparently crust. out here. I want to roll this out, y'all, because it didn't fold it on me. Yep. You see that fold? 
That's and, what I'm uh, saying. It's a little stretchy. Yeah, it's it's not. I like um, what is that? Pillsbury. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like Pillsbury more because this this is giving me a a little room, a room for, my room money. for my money right now. But that's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna just make it work. Guys, so we've got it uh, all covered up. Yep. So the next step is to cut into it. Lines. Lines. Like so, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too fancy. Yeah. Then you got to do the other side. Mm-hmm. Now, our tree might not be proportioned, but y'all know when you buy a real tree or a fake one, the branches don't be perfect. Okay? That's it. So it's not about perfection here. It's It'll just be about it being cute, end. okay? There you go. Okay. And then you go in, which I'm going to place this on the pan now because I want to make sure we ain't got no issues. Yeah, get your, make sure you got your pan ready. Yep. Okay. And. Yeah, it's longer than the pan, I think. Yeah, it is. It's That's okay, okay though. though. So, you just go in and you're going to twist your pieces, folks. So, and they might not because they're not, it's really just for looks and giggles. You just oh, looking for a little, a little twisty twist. Okay? okay, guys, we'll be back with the end. Okay, okay, guys, so we've twisted the edges. Ours is a little juicy. I, we're gonna put some egg wash on it. Yeah, which this is, is just, not in the recipe yeah. originally that we just found. Just because the it's the dough is so saucy, you know, when you put egg wash on, it's gonna make it a little bit harder. This okay? is definitely Cindy's alley, y'all. I would not know. <laughs> so we're gonna put a little egg wash on there. Okay, oh, guys. So we are. This is the with the egg wash on it. This is how it looks. And yeah. Cindy has an idea. She wants to throw a little bit of Italian seasoning on top. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then, guys, we're going to put this in the oven. And we will be back with the end result and uh, let y'all see how it turned out. All okay, right, guys. So I just whipped up the butter. I put butter, Italian seasoning, and some, um, what was that? Garlic powder. Mm -hmm. This, it's done baking. We're just going to base this on here real quick. You see that golden, do you see this golden finish? Uh -huh. mm. That golden? Golden finish. Okay, no. guys. Okay, guys. So next, we are going to be making one okay, of our really, favorite cheese balls. Super really easy. Super simple. Super simple. All you need is uh, cheddar cheese, a block of cream cheese, and a ranch packet. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Um, and we're going to just show you what we do. Okay, guys. Struggling, but we got it. Yeah, y'all. Okay. This uh, cream cheese is trying to give me a fizz ice. And this is this is a pretty cheap one too. This is some Aldi cream cheese, some Aldi. We almost got most of all everything yeah. from Aldi. Just a heads up. Yeah. So these are very affordable things. I think the cream cheese is what 70, 79 cents. Seventy nine cents. Cheese one ninety nine. Uh, Tamika got these from Dollar General because yeah, we know the brand. Yeah, I've been had that, that but it's good. But they sell them at um. Where's the place they sell them at? Oh, me too. The yeah. ranch packets, or you can use the ranch dips. I love a ranch dips pack. Yeah, I like any. They all kind of good. I mean, mm -hmm. Hidden Valley is best, but yeah, I'm telling you, that ranch it, dips uh, pack is it. We folks. didn't make it to Harris Heat today, so no, we're gonna use this uh, Clover Valley. Yeah. yeah. Clover Valley will do the trick this this time. And yeah. like you said, you seem to make it. You put a whole ranch packet in there. Now the cheese is really gonna be dependent on what you like, like what, um, how much I like cheese sharp. you want. Yeah, I would do sharp cheddar too. Yes, because you want people to be able to taste the cheese. It's only it's a three ingredient cheese ball. So right, and guys, just know we also have another one you can do, and it's just if you're an onion fan, which I am. Yeah, to me, I like onions. All you like gotta onions. do is do the same thing: do onions, cheese. And a and uh, cream cheese, guys, and just let it sit overnight. That thing is delicious. It's delicious. So, but this is also a fake. This is one of my favorites. We have a more complicated cheese ball that we used to do years, yeah, which is a tomato cheese cause... ball. But it literally had like eighteen ingredients. So we, Tamika, wanted to find something more simple, and so did I. Mm -hmm. Um. So this is what we came up with. So once we are almost done, we'll show you the next step. But right now, you're just gonna mix all your items together. Yep. And, and listen, to folks, you're dirty. probably gonna get your hands dirty. Just FYI. Why? Go ahead and mix that stuff up. <laughs> Sometimes I wear gloves because I don't like to get um, stuff underneath my acrylics. It kind of freaks me out. Okay, guys, I'm done talking for now. Just just stay tuned to the finished product. Okay, guys, so this is the finished product. We got these crackers from the Dollar Trizzle. These are some fancy crackers, Yeah, guys. I don't even know what they're called. Where's uh, the wrapper? They're called 
grater. Grater crackers with olive oil and, and oregano. Rosemary. No, that is oh, oregano. It's oregano. She didn't made up something. I made up a spice. <laughs> okay, guys. But anyway, here you go. Finished product. Cheese Super ball. Simple. Now, if you like nuts, we don't do nuts because Cindy is allergic. But if you like nuts, you can just cover it with nuts. Whatever your favorite nut is. Yeah. Boom. There you go. Yep. This All right, is guys. a very low cost. I would say. Mm, about four dollars maybe five, yeah, yeah about $4. at most four to five dollars if you need to take something to a party this is super simple guys one of our favorite things to eat okay next okay, up guys so the next thing that we're going to be doing is some uh ori what is it called to make an oreo ornaments yeah, oreo, ornaments. oreo ornaments okay so we have some double stuff oreos like you've seen m and some sprinkles but the first thing that we have to do and we got this chocolate from um aldi you have to melt your chocolate i'm going to do it in the microwave so it's going to take a little bit of time but i'm about to pour everything in here pop it in the microwave okay guys so the chocolate's in the microwave you do 60 seconds and then you do 30 second increments so 60 seconds mix it up and then 30 second increments mixing it until it gets to the consistency of melted all right guys okay guys so this was the first 30 seconds so honestly it almost completely melted i'm probably going to put it back in for 30 more seconds and then we're going to be dip don't it look good don't watch the chocolate come smell it y'all yes okay Woo. okay guys so the next thing that we're going to be doing mom come over here look mom's helping us record come over up 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 okay so here's the demonstration this is one of the ornaments we just tried i wanted to make sure i could flip it right okay so your chocolate's melted you need your Oreo, okay? Okay, Ma, you're gonna screw them up now. Okay, and then, so what we're gonna do is you toss it in your melted chocolate, okay? And if you have a flat surface, that's fine. You need two forks. You're gonna flip it inside of the container. Once you get it nice and covered, okay, because it's supposed to be an ornament, drip it, let it drip a little bit, and then you're gonna take it and slide. Okay, so there's that. So you wanna go ahead and decorate it while it's still wet. To me, you wanna grab some decoration? Oh, dude, let's do the M&Ms. So, mom will still get going over to the, there we go. We teach your mom as we go, folks. Okay, so, guys, so this one's gonna be M&Ms. Now, it just depends. You can use whatever you would whatever like. Whatever you want, guys. Um, And then we didn't, the thing has different tops on it, so you can put whatever tops you wanna put on it. We, we used, used a Tootsie, Tootsie Roll. roll. Yeah, Okay, as you, you can, can use anything you want. You yep. can use Reese's Cups. Any of that stuff. Rolos. Yes. So there we're going to go. do a few more and then we'll show you the finished product. Okay, guys? All right. Okay, guys. So we ended up doing, let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine of these bad boys. Tamika's about to put some chocolate chips on this. So we just kind of put some stuff. Make it fun, guys. We got. This is great to some, do with kids. Yeah. Some regular sprinkles, some ball. Listen, whatever. People eat it, y'all. It's chocolate. Okay. And you just got to put it in the refrigerator and let it get hard, guys. Yes. And okay. there you go. You got Okay, guys, so the next step, we're going to do the strawberry Santa Clauses. Okay, so you're going to get your strawberries. You're going to cut the tops off, guys. That's what we're doing right now. Yes. Just cutting tops off. That's how we're doing. Yes, so we're just cutting the tops off. Um, and you're for this, you're going to need strawberries. You're going to need the Betty Crocker or, or Duncan Hines or any kind of cream cheese. Frosting. Um, frosting. And then you're going to need, can you give me those minis to make it real quick? Or you, can, these, or you can use sprinkles. Or you can, yeah, or sprinkles. But we got some mini semi-sweet uh, chocolate chips. Okay, guys? It's just that simple. And a piping bag if you had it. But we're about to improvise and just use a regular, um, uh, like, Ziploc cut the corner. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys. So, this is this is what we've done. We cut. You make a cut. You, you cut right at the bottom so you can use that as the hat. We've already done it. Make sure you keep your matches together. Yes. Okay, guys. And, and then, then I'm putting the cream cheese frosting into here. We're going to snip this in the corner. Sorry, I got cut today at Aldi. Let me just tell you, y'all, be careful if you buy the roasted turkey. <laughs> the edges is real, real sharp. It was like a box like this, but it hadn't been trimmed. They got me. I said, I'm bleeding. Anywho, we're going to cut this tip here, and we're going to try to make this pipe right, okay? And then I'll show you that, okay? Okay, guys, so this is, you know, if you don't have a piping bag, this is what you need to do. Cut your little tip. We got the tip popping off. Sorry, I was, let me see if we can focus on the tip. Okay, and then get your cream cheese in there. Now we about to try this, okay? So, yeah. We'll show you the, uh, after we get them And all now, done. if you have a piping bag, I'm just letting you know it's going to be simpler. But since you don't, you kind of got to go with the way the frosting take you. That's okay? It. Boop. Okay, here we and go. And then, because this, we going to top it like this, like so, like that. Okay, and then we're going to come and back. And we'll be right back. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we have put one top on, guys. So we're going to put the tops on. These are the sand hats. Now, what I'll tell you is that when I was piping, without my piping thing, we did draw off the tips of the, the like, before you put the cream on, just dap them, you know, with the dap towel. The tops. Because they're a little wet, and the icing wants to slide around. But 
other than that, that's it. And then we're gonna oh, go God, back. Oh God, chocolate is melting on my hands, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, to make it pour the chocolate in hand, look. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so don't pour the chocolates in your hand. Just pour them out on a flat, uh, regular surface, and then you're gonna put your eyes on them. Okay. Come back, Santa. We're gonna All come right. Okay. Hey, listen. Back. Some of our Santas have given up, but that's okay. That's our business, as Tab would say. So look, we got some happy Santas, some sad Santas. We got the, um, <laughs> but they're so cute and they taste really, really good. So once you get them all put together, you're gonna wanna chill them. Look, he just slid back mid video. He said, "Never mind, I ain't with this. But anywho, make sure you chill them so they stay, you know, hard and whatnot. Make sure you tell them to wipe off both parts. Oh, and then make sure you dab the top once you cut it and the bottom, because if not, that's why you see some slipping. They're really slippery, so just keep that in mind. All right, guys. Now we're about to show you the finished product of everything. Let's okay. Hey, guys. guys. This is all of our sweets and treats, yes. guys. So we, we hope that you've enjoyed all of this, but Mama, come, come a little bit closer. We got everything. These are nice little gifts from Box. the Dollar Tree, guys. Dollar Tree. Put them in there. You can you can give your sweet Wait, treats oh, away. Let me, I can't even get it. First. It just bends. There, there we go. go. Look at it. Put so your little sweet cute. treats. Give it away. We got the cheese ball. ball. We got the Santa Claus. And then remember, you gotta chill them. These they turn. They're not away. chilling. So we got Santa Claus. So make Claus. sure you do that. His stuff and We got our crib, our tree. Our bread, our spinach tree, guys. Yes. Okay, guys. Now, we, if y'all have any sweet treats you want to share, just link yes. them down in the comments. What's your favorite sweet? Oh, and don't oh, forget, we, we made a cheese, cheese ball, ball, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, just let oh, us know. Tell us your favorite sweet. Like, what is your favorite um, holiday treat that your family makes? Or, or savory treat? Or mm -hmm. whatever it is. Drink. Whatever, guys. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please Bye. like, share, and subscribe. Okay, push the thing.